Lesson 10.5, Line Symmetry. A shape has line symmetry if it can be folded on a line so that its two parts match exactly. Here we have a chess pawn, and if I fold it on this line, this vertical line, we can fold it exactly. Look at that. And this heart, if I fold it on this line, which would be its line of symmetry, we would have an exact match. See that? And the chess pawn image and the heart shape have line symmetry. The line we use to fold the shape is the line of symmetry. It divides a shape into two parts that are the same size and shape. Look at that. It matches perfectly, doesn't it? We can use tissue paper or construction paper to find if a shape has line symmetry. We can trace the shape. Here we have this shape on our blue construction paper. We can trace it with tissue paper because we can see through it. And we fold it over on a line of symmetry and we can see it matches perfectly. For the construction paper, we can just fold it on a line of symmetry and we can see that it lines up perfectly, doesn't it? We can have a vertical line of symmetry that goes up and down. If we drew one through the little mouse, we'd be able to fold it on that line and it would match perfectly. We can have a horizontal line of symmetry that goes across, and this X also has a vertical line of symmetry. And it looks like it might have a diagonal line of symmetry, but this doesn't quite look like it would match here. For diagonal lines of symmetry, we can have several. This square has two diagonal lines of symmetry, a vertical one and a horizontal one. And the diagonal lines of symmetry go through the vertices that are not next to each other. Symmetry means having an exact match in size, shape, and arrangement of parts on opposite sides of a line. And some shapes have one line of symmetry, some shapes have more than one. This triangle has three sides that are the same length. It has three lines of symmetry. And the square has four lines of symmetry. This rectangle only has two. This hexagon has six lines of symmetry, but this triangle only has one. A regular polygon is a polygon in which all sides are the same length and all angles are the same measure. For regular polygons, the number of sides it has is the number of lines of symmetry it has. We have a triangle with three equal sides. It has three lines of symmetry. A square has four equal sides. It has four lines of symmetry. But a rectangle has four sides, but they're not all equal. So it only has two lines of symmetry. We can check a shape for line symmetry by seeing if it has vertical line symmetry. If it doesn't, we can check it for horizontal line symmetry. And if it doesn't have that either, we check it for diagonal line symmetry. And if it has neither of these, the shape has no symmetry. Look at the figure of this little penguin. He has no symmetry. And do you know why? because his little scarf is sticking out. His feet would have symmetry and his wings, they're the same on each side and his little cheeks and his little eyes. But because this scarf is sticking out, if we drew a vertical line coming down and tried folding him, that scarf would stick out. So there's no symmetry. This dog has vertical line symmetry. If we folded it on this orange line, it would fold perfectly and match. And this fish has no symmetry. If we drew a vertical line and folded it, the face wouldn't match the tail. And if we drew a horizontal line and tried folding it, this one big fin on top would not match the two little fins on the bottom. Here we have a regular pentagon. It's a regular polygon with sides that are all the same length. Because a pentagon has five equal sides, it's got five lines of symmetry. Now this is also a pentagon, but because the sides are not all equal length, 
It's an irregular pentagon. It's got five sides, but they're not equal. It has one vertical line of symmetry. And this polygon is also a pentagon. It's an irregular pentagon because the sides are not all the same length like the regular pentagon. And it has five sides, but it has no symmetry. We can't draw a line anywhere through this to make two equal sides. And if we have a figure in our book or on a paper, homework or test, and we can't quite make sure if it has a line of symmetry or line symmetry, we can turn the book or paper. If we turn this like this, we can imagine that we can draw a vertical line and we'd be able to fold it on that vertical line so it does have symmetry. And for this one, we could turn it, straighten it out, and we would be able to draw a vertical line and then fold it and it would match. And we could draw a horizontal line and then fold across like that and it would match. So try turning your book or paper to help you look for line symmetry. Many capital letters of the alphabet have line symmetry. We can see the letter A has one. It's a vertical one. And the letters B, C, D, and E have horizontal line symmetry. F and G don't have symmetry. H has two. I has two, J doesn't have any, K has a horizontal one, L doesn't have any, M has only one vertical one, N doesn't have any, and the letter O, because it's an oval, we have a vertical one and a horizontal one. And the letter P, Q, R, and S do not have line symmetry, but T, U, V, and W have one vertical. And look at X. X has got several lines of symmetry. It's got two diagonal, a vertical, and a horizontal. And the letter Y has one, and the letter Z has none. But be careful, though. A figure may appear to have line symmetry when it doesn't. You might think that this letter Z has line symmetry. When folded on a line of symmetry, the two parts must be an exact match. And look what happens if I fold this. That's not an exact match. Look, this part's sticking out. See? So be careful when it appears to have line symmetry and it doesn't. Folding is the best way to tell. Does the green line appear to be a line of symmetry? Write yes or no. Now it says appear to be a line of symmetry because these are on the dry erase board. We can't fold them. But we can use our eyes and look at them to see if we folded it on that line, would it fold perfectly and be an exact match on both sides? If you said no, you're right. That would not be an exact match. If we had a vertical line coming down like this, it would have worked. But that is not a line of symmetry. What about this green line? Does that appear to be a line of symmetry? If you said yes, you're right. We could fold it on that line and both sides would match. What about this line? Is this a line of symmetry for this square? If you said no, you're right. We wouldn't be able to make an exact match if we folded it on that line. Now look at this circle. Does that appear to be a line of symmetry for the circle? If we folded it on that line, would both sides match? If you said yes, you're right. A circle, because it's perfectly round, actually has many, many lines of symmetry. We could just keep drawing lines to divide it in half. We can think of a line of symmetry as a mirror making a reflection. That would be the line of symmetry for this picture. We need to complete the figure by reflecting over the line of symmetry. The first thing we can do is, starting here, count how many square units it's going across. It's going one, two, three. So we'll do three units across on that side. Now it's coming down two units, so we'll come down two units. 
Now it's going out two units, so we can go out two units on this side. We can count one, two, three, four, five units down, so we'll go five units down on this side. Now it's going back in two units, so we'll go in two units on this side. It's going down one square unit and then in. We'll do the same thing on this side. We'll go down one square unit and in. Now we've completed the figure by reflecting over the line of symmetry. Our next lesson, 10.6, we're going to find and draw lines of symmetry. Keep trying hard, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.